Hi everyone. Let's meet Sam. He loves crafting tutorials and social media contents for his clients with his small teams. But he has got a very big challenge as his days are packed with manual work such as chatting with potential clients, answering tons of emails, preparing for meetings and onboarding clients, as well as managing his teams. And that leave him less time to actually review and deliver a top quality work to his clients. His tech skill being limited, he is looking for AI solutions where he can automate all of this manual process and streamline his business so that he can focus on which is important, that is the quality of work, helping his team and free his time for his well-being. If you are looking for such automations for your workflows or maybe looking to create powerful AI agents using low-code or no-code managed AI solutions or service, then that's what we are going to discuss in this video by solving Sam's problem as listed above. Hi, my name is Avijit. You are watching Note Together where I try to simplify latest tech and innovation for your future and your business. Let's get started. Creating and managing AI applications or AI agents for your business comes with many overhead and challenges starting with appropriate technical knowledge, managing and ensuring your IT systems high availability, which also includes managing your database such as vector database for your AI application knowledge base and ensuring your AI API key protections and cost management as well as safeguarding customers personal identifiable data and any kind of system integration specific token or session data to be protected as part of regulatory requirements are just to name a few. Fortunately, there are platforms that are coming up these days which will take many of these overhead and challenges from you so that you can focus on the actual key business value for your next SaaS application. Now one such platform that we are going to discuss today called Vectorshift AI. Now Vectorshift seems to have designed keeping all these hurdles in mind for solo entrepreneur or even larger business so that they can focus on the real value of their business using a very low code and no code approach. So it will help you safeguarding all your internal business data as well as customer information and any session or token data as well using industry standard security based practices. In this video first we are going to take a look at the Vectorships platform overview and then we'll create a very simple pipeline or workflow automation using a no code drag and drop feature and then finally we'll create a comprehensive solution to solve sam's problem as you have seen just a few moments before the video would become long and very useful so stay tuned till the end and let's get started so before we start here is a small note from albert who is also a co-founder of Vectorshift ai as he have supported this channel by sponsoring this video hello this is albert one of the co-founders of Vectorshift ai and just reaching out to say thank you to Know Together and the community for you know the consideration and the ability to be featured on this channel. You know, on our end, we put a lot of thought in building VectorShift and componentizing the core components of AI to make it very accessible to coders, to non-coders, to people working in organizations of all sizes to build with this new technology. And hence, we've partnered with Avajit, you know, to be able to make AI even more accessible to explain how to actually build within this platform and to actually how to improve your productivity and gain the benefits of AI in your life and in your work. Um, so thank you to Abhijit and the community for this opportunity and feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Thank you, Albert, for supporting this channel and also for your kind words to the community. And you, if you haven't joined the community yet, please go ahead, click the Discord link from the description below and join the community. With that said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so let's start with the Vectorship platform overview first. Now that I have come into the Vectorship portal, if you go into the left, you will see multiple options on the left. So let's start with pipelines. So a pipeline is where you define a set of logic to automate your workflows. So basically, if you try to create a pipeline, you will see that there will be different components that you can use and you can leverage AI to actually create your business use case that can be used for either app to app automation or chatbot application. So it might contain inputs, outputs and chain of events and multiple processing steps, which can be connected together using this drag and drop interface or low code or no code interface. So in a very high level overview, in a pipeline, you will define all your kind of business logic that can be chained together to create the workflow that you want. So the next tab is marketplace. So in marketplace, you will find a pre-populated template of different type of pipelines that you can actually make use of instead of creating from the scratch, right? If you have a particular productivity workflow that you want to implement, you might probably come into the marketplace first, search for that particular workflow, and there is a high chance that that workflow is already created by someone else and published into the marketplace. So you should definitely try and check 
the marketplace first and you can build on top of the marketplace pipelines so the next one is storage storage is where you store the knowledge base so victorship supports two type of storage one for file based storage where you can upload the file directly and they also support vector storage where you can create a vector database and upload multiple files to it and it will create the vector embeddings automatically and save it as the vector database so as a business owner you really don't have to worry about managing a vector database or managing your knowledge documents and etc etc so this becomes really easy for you where you can just you, where you can just come here and upload your documents and it will create a vector embeddings itself and save it within the platform to be accessible within your pipelines so imagine if you have to manage a vector based database separately that is a that is a lot more overhead to ensure uptime availability security integrity and everything else which is what is provided by the platform as a feature itself yeah storage is really one of the good feature that i do see for vectorship platform that you can use for your business workflows then comes automations so automations is where you actually integrate with different third-party applications such as airtable or maybe typeform and hubspot and they are actually bringing a lot more integrations as i have spoken with albert who is one of the co-founder of VectorShape. so you can basically use this integration and automation to kind of listen for any events that happen that happens with that particular application and based on the event you can trigger a workflow using the pipelines so pipelines and automation kind of goes hand in hand and i'll show you as an example how it works in the later part of this video and then comes the next section which is called chatbots chatbots are really as the name says it allows you to create and extend your pipeline workflows in form of a chatbot by saving the conversation history so that means you can use chatbots to kind of integrate with one of your pipeline and while the pipeline will be more focused on processing the business logic and probably get the answer of user question chatbot will help store the conversation history in its memory without you maintaining a separate memory as let's say database or something and you don't have to worry about managing those database separately next is evolution so evolution is really one of the cool features that as a developer or a business owner must use the reason is because in evolution whenever you create a pipeline probably you want to test your workflow before you go to production right so in evolution you when you create a pipeline you can actually use the evolution to write different friend let's say prompt or test scenario and run the evolution to check if your pipeline if your ai use case through the pipeline is working as expected if your pipeline is returning an predicted output or expected output then you can integrate it with your automations or or chatbots and make it uh, available to your users as a production application the final bit that i want to discuss here is transformation so basically transformation is where you can create different python based code where you can transform a data from one data input format to another data output format for example if you want to let's say convert an xml into json or yaml to json you could easily do that using transformation where you can actually write python code or custom python code and then use this transformation script in your pipeline Pipelines. so i have planned to actually create a transformation as part of this video and use it one of the pipeline so stay tuned for that for the next section of this video so now that we have covered the very basic layout of this application let's go ahead and create a very simple pipeline first test it and then we'll go to a bit more complex flow to solve sam's problem okay so if you remember sam used to spend a lot of time chatting with his potential clients right so what we are going to do is probably try to create our first pipeline to save some of sam's time by potentially replacing with this ai chatbot which will take care with all the clients typical questions based on his service offering i am so sorry that i have to stop this part of the video right here considering that we have already covered a lot of the information to be consumed by a newbie in ai i have split this long 27 minute tutorial into three parts so you can actually understand all of the concepts clearly to make use of it in your real life use case the second and the third part of this tutorial will be uploaded very soon so stay tuned for that subscribe to the channel if you're new to the ai world check out our ai masterclass from your left and check out the second part of this video from your right thank you for watching